हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज 15 थिंग्स यू मस्ट डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द एलिमेंट्री ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सिक्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so whenever you install a new operating system into your machine there are some tweaks or you can say some settings which are needed to be done in order to get the best out of that operating system that can be the installation of some software or installation of some drivers or inclusion of some packages that can also include enabling some of the features which are disabled by default in your operating system so we will see everything in this video so let's start number 1 update whenever you install a new operating system first thing you should do you should update your system to update your system you just need to open your terminal so i will just write here terminal and here it is i will just click on it and now we need to write a command here and that command is sudo apt dash get space update and what will happen that after hitting the enter our system will get updated and we will be good to go so i will just hit enter and after that we will move on to next setting so we are done with the updation of our system here number 2 install multimedia codex and enable dvd playback you need to install media codex because by default elementary operating system 6 only supports limited number of audio and video file formats to install it you just need to write some commands in your terminal so i will just write those command here and those commands are sudo apt install ubuntu dash restricted dash extras and after that just hit enter after pressing y hit enter again some of you might be wondering that why i have used ubuntu in my command so for those who do not know elementary operating system 6 is based on ubuntu 20.04 lts so you can use those commands which you can use in your ubuntu and now i will write my next command here and that command is sudo apt install lib av codec dash extra and after that just hit enter we are done with that one as well now we need to write one last command in order to install multimedia codex and that command is sudo apt install lib dvd dash pkg which means package and after that hit enter and press y and again hit enter so after downloading we are almost done with the installation process as well number 3 install firefox if i open my default browser and here if i search for something elementary os 6 hardware requirements and just hit enter and this is the problem over this browser because it doesn't show some of the pages of the web so in order to get rid of that you can install firefox into your system i will go to my applications and now i will open my app center and here i will search for firefox and here it is just click on this button which says free now it has started the process and now it has asked me to enter my password so i will enter my password here and now it will download and install the firefox into my elementary operating system 6 number 4 now we should install some plugins like flash player and paper flash so by installing plugins like flash player and paper flash we will be able to see all types of content on the web in order to install these plugins you just need to write some commands into your terminal so let me open my terminal first so what you need to do you need to write this command into your terminal and what it will do it will install both the plugins for your system now hit enter so we are done with installing both plugins number 5 install libreoffice suites so let me open my applications here 
And if I view my applications by category, and here it says Office, if I click on it, here I just have Calendar, Document Viewer, and Tasks. So in order to make wonderful documents like you do in your Microsoft Office, your LibreOffice, you cannot do that in Elementary Operating System 6 by default. So I will install LibreOffice. So for that, I need to open my terminal. And in my terminal, I will write some commands. First command is sudo apt install LibreOffice. And after that, just hit enter. Enter your password and again hit enter, press Y. And now it has started to download the LibreOffice for our system. So we are almost done with the installation process as well. And now if I search for LibreOffice in my applications, here I just need to write Libre and here it is. We have every application of LibreOffice. So you can use these applications for your needs and for your requirements. Number six, install GIMP. As we have the beta version of elementary operating system six at the moment, and there are some improvements which are needed to be done yet. If you remember, and if you have watched our previous video in which we have reviewed and we gave our first thoughts on elementary operating system six, I have talked about the improvements which are needed in elementary operating system six. So same goes for the photo editing tool in it. So let me open my photo here. And here it is, if I open it, it does provide some tweaks which we can perform on our photos. But GIMP is the best alternative for all the Linux users. So we should install it and use it to have better editing and tweaks options for our photos. So in order to install GIMP in your system, let me clear my terminal first. You just need to write a command which is sudo apt install gimp and just hit enter. Now give your password and now hit enter and what it will do, it will download and install the gimp in your system. So as we are done with both downloading and installation, so let's search for gimp in our applications. So if I write here gimp and here it is, now you can use it instead of using your default photos in your elementary operating system 6. Number 7. Install Timeshift. Well, I will recommend you to use Timeshift backup software so that you can have your systems backup in case your system gets failed. This backup software does not only take the system backup, but it also allows you to use it anytime from any place. Mean you can make copy and you can use that copy on other computers as well. So in order to install Timeshift, you need to write some commands into your terminal. So let me clear my terminal first and write here sudo apt-get space install and space Timeshift. Hit enter. So we are done over this one as well. Now let's move on further. Number eight, power and heat management. Sometimes the system gets overheated and provides low performance. You can install TLP and laptop mode tool to improve the overall system power management and increase system usability with high optimized performance. To install TLP, let me clear my terminal here. Now I will write some commands here and first command is sudo add-apt-repository space ppa colon line runner and after that give it backslash and now tlp and hit enter now hit enter again so now we need to write another command here and that command is sudo apt dash get install tlp space tlp dash drw and just hit enter so after the tlp we need to install laptop mode tools for that i will write a command here and that command is sudo add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon ubuntu handbook one backslash apps after that hit enter now again hit enter and now it will start the process of downloading and installing so we are done now we need to install it to install it we need to write a command and that command is sudo apt dash 
get space install space laptop dash mod dash tools and hit enter and press Y and hit enter. So we are done with the installation of TLP and installation of laptop mod tools. These two are very best and useful apps for power management. This will help to minimize the power consumption and reduce the heat problem of the elementary operating system 6 if you face any. Number 9. Install drivers. Well, there are different ways to install the essential drivers for your elementary operating system 6. The easiest way is to run this command which I will write here and it will help you install all the necessary drivers and that command is sudo ubuntu dash drivers space auto install and after hitting enter what it will do it will install every driver which is needed to be installed in your system number 10 enable firewall there are a lot of firewalls available for the linux distros as each one of them offers great features and tweaks for your distros but every linux distributions come with pre-added firewalls as well and that firewall works very well so there is no need to install any third party firewall unless you need some specific feature from a firewall. But if you are a general user, you can use or enable the firewall which is added in your elementary operating system 6 as default. To enable this, just go to your applications and search for firewall. And here it is. Into the security and privacy, you can see we have firewall. Just click on it and here right now it is disabled just click on this button it will enable your firewall for your system number 11 install synaptic i believe that synaptic is a software manager for advanced user although its interface is not that prettier but synaptic is extremely reliable and powerful software manager you can see the real package names instead of user friendly names you see in the elementary software management so we will also find all available packages in Synaptic while in the elementary software manager we only see the pre-selected packages. There are more options for installation in Synaptic and we will find more advanced information about a program. For example, you can see all the dependencies. To install Synaptic into your system, open your terminal first and here write sudo apt install synaptic and just hit enter give it your password press y and hit enter so now just click on your applications here and write here synaptic and here it is so we have successfully installed our synaptic package manager number 12 enable nightlight in our previous video when we talked about what 15 things you must do after installing the linux mint we installed the redshift in that but you do not need any third party tool anymore in elementary operating system 6 because in elementary operating system 6 we have a night light feature so let me close my terminal here first right click on your screen and click on display setting and here we have a button or you can say a label which says night light click on it and from here if you click on it you will be able to enable this night light feature and here we have successfully enabled it. Now there will be no more blue light disturbing your eyes. Down here you can make further changes as per your liking or you can say as per your need. So you just need to click on manual and from here you will be able to set that manual timing or you can say customize timing for this feature to work on. So this was all about a night light. Number 13. Startup Applications Well, whenever we start our any operating system, some of the application gets boots up with the system as well. So click on your application and write here, Applications here. And here it is, click on it. And here you have three sections. Here it says Startup. So here you will have all the application which get start as your system gets launched. And here you have Permission section. Here you can give the permission to the application which you want to start with the system. In permission section, 
you have a different tweaks you can perform if we come back in startup here we have a plus sign here on small window if you click on it here you will be able to add any application in here for example i want to add my camera here if i click on it so now what will happen that every time my system gets boots up my camera will start with that one as well so you can add any other application here like we have a list of application so i have htop here so if i click on it so if it also get started with my system you can disable them anytime from here as well number 14 install gdeb we don't get to install .deb files by just double clicking on them those files in elementary operating system 6 especially it just does not let you do that so in order to install .deb files we need an additional tool to help us install the .deb file so i will recommend you to use gdeb because it lets you to have more knowledge about dependencies even before we try to install it and that is how you can be sure about what you need in order to correctly install an application in order to install gdeb into your system open your terminal first and here write a simple command and that command is sudo apt install gdeb and hit enter give it your password and again hit enter press y again hit enter so we are done with the installation of gdeb as well number 15 system cleanup after you have done all the things or all the tweaks which i have shown you in previous steps you should do this step as well at the end you can clean partial packages from the system and for that you should use a command that is sudo apt dash get space auto clean and hit enter so we are done with that one as well you can also auto clean up apt cache and for that you just need to write sudo apt dash get space clean and hit enter we are done with that one as well and at last you can clean up any of unused dependencies from your system and for that you just need to write sudo apt dash get space auto remove and hit enter it has cleaned up all the unused dependencies from the system. So that's it for this video. In this video, I have talked about what 15 things you must do after installing your elementary operating system 6 in order to get the best out of your operating system. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will see you in another video. Till then, take care.